Good afternoon, everybody. It's 9 p.m. in the morning here in San Francisco. You heard that. Life is difficult. That is one reason. You see, sometimes you're confused and you don't know what you're saying, but you have to say as if you're saying the right thing. You don't even know what you're doing, but you have to do it as if what you're doing is 100% right. That is why life is difficult. Second and third reason. Let me add two more reasons. Second and third. All right. Second one is, you know, I can tell you under five, that under five seconds. All right. So this time I'm supposed to be uh, talking to myself, but I'm talking to it. Okay. In life, sometimes when you're supposed to be talking to yourself, you're talking to other people. Life is difficult. <laughs> Third. Third one is because of the choice you have to make. We are human beings where we live together. We, you know, we encounter with different people. All right. There are people, two, basically two groups, two groups of people. People who are nice, who are kind, respectful, considerate of many things. People who are kind with their words and action. People who want to treat you the way they want to be treated. In a good way. In a way that does not violate you, no abuse you but there are people who are not nice maybe i should call them bad people all right they are unkind they are selfish they want to win every time they are greedy they are disrespectful they are violent they are everything no you can use every bad adjective like <laughs> abusive and and um, those people are not nice. They are not good people. So you encounter with these people probably on a daily basis. And sometimes, you know, it changes the, the frequency. Uh, I mean, how frequently you meet with those people change. But you have those people. You no. Know? So... <clears throat> I don't know if I'm making any sense, but you can make a sense out of it by yourself. All right. So those people who are nice, kind, they give you positive energy. They give you, they cultivate nice things in you. You know, it helps you grow. It helps you to become a better person for yourself, for the world and for the, you know, humankind. Whatever you call that good things, right? But bad people, basically, <laughs> you know, I remember something. Uh, you, you, you know how people say, you know, scholars. Uh, so it's said, and I'm going to repeat it. We all have, every one of us, we have, um, what, that bad personality or beast they say beast is sleeping within us a monster i think that's right some of us we have you know we have kept it at the bay like don't come and <laughs> conquer us we have kept it at the bay but there are people who are dominated by the beast within them the monster within them is Awaken and living, you know, actively. And and the energy we get from people who are bad or who are dominated by their bad attitude, what they give us is that it awakens that giant escaping beast within us. That is how some people are transformed from nice, kind people or being from, you know, being nice and then they transform to 
a person you have never seen in your life. Brutal and, you know, violent, aggressive, and ignoring person. It's because of how other people treat them. It happens. And you have, you have choice sometimes. If you have to allow that negative and that bad energy come and change you, or you, have, or you put a shield or a curtain or a wall between you and that sort of things, and be nice person or be the person you are supposed to be or your your inner inner self or your conscious tells you right but it is difficult it's difficult making the choice is difficult plus plus it's difficult to build a world between yourself and those people it's not easy because you can find those people, those energy, uh, energies like such kind of energies everywhere, in school, in in taxi, in in meetings, in workplace, and everywhere. They are everywhere. So that's what that's what make makes it so difficult. All right. And I have the experience of encountering those people, and I know you have too. And, and it affects us, all right? And um, thank you very much for watching. And we will talk about it more, like more about it next time, maybe. Because like, you see the fourth reason what makes life difficult? It's the uncertainty. Like, I don't know if I'm going to talk about this next time. It's this uncertainty, another thing. We are uncertain about many things in life. That is one reason why life is difficult. Is it? Would it, wouldn't life be so much beautiful, like more beautiful if we were sure about, we were certain about a lot of things? Yep. That's another reason. There you go. Bye-bye. <laughs>